Stephanie Milkey here, AKA Keto Mom, or often called mom, sis, Steffi, daughter, wife, aunt, and friend. Just like many of you, I carry a lot of titles. My favorite title is mom. I should probably say wife, which takes a lot of my time. But let's be honest, if you want to do something and do it well, you will make the time for it. Commitment is hard because we find ourselves overcommitted, but when you practice prioritizing, you will find out what is actually important and what you can let go. With the Keto Mom Podcast, you will learn together how to manage our time, commit to the most important things in life, and I will equip you with the tools you need to feel qualified each step of the way. My name is Stephanie Milkey, and welcome to the Keto Mom Secrets Podcast. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Keto Mom page. My name is Stephanie, and we're going to talk about vacation and food So as you're tuning in, I would love for you to press the share button and uh, let's do this. Um, What did you have for lunch today? What did you have for lunch? Share with me in the comments. The reason I ask things like that and I ask you to share is because it gives other people ideas as you're commenting and they see your comments and go, oh, I never thought about that. So I am actually hiding in a stairwell because everywhere I go here on the, at the hotel that we're staying at, uh, we're in Florida right now with my whole family. So we're in Florida with my sisters. I've got two sisters and a brother and, uh, my husband, all the husbands, my parents, and there's 14 grandkids. And so we are having, first of all, day one, and it's incredible. We're at Cocoa beach And I was like, this is only day one. And we're here all week. We're super excited. But here's what we did for lunch. And I had a couple of people ask me, like, what are you doing for food? Do you guys go out to eat? Doesn't that get expensive? And so what's fun is this. My family, our four daughters and my husband and myself, we flew to Florida. My parents love to drive. They would drive to Europe if they could. My parents will pack up a van. So they packed up a van with my, they have like a bus. My parents have a bus and everybody else besides us drove from way up north all the way to Florida, which is how we are doing our food this week. So here's what we are doing as we are on vacation. We're at the beach and then we all rented an Airbnb together in Orlando. So I'm going to share with you what we're doing for food. Uh, I'm also shaking up my ketones. We just got done making lunch And so somebody has said, I can't, that's so great. I can't believe that you did that. Thank you for keeping it simple. So my parents uh, not only had a bus, but they packed a trailer and in the trailer, they bought a grill. So here at the hotel, they brought a grill that we just made burgers, hot dogs, and brats on. We are going to grill for the next couple days on the beach or at the hotel, keeping it super simple. Cause let's just be real. If you are vacationing or you're traveling, it gets expensive when you go out to eat, right? Especially with kids. And so, oh, there's little bugs all over the place as I sit here on the stairwell hiding from all of the noise everywhere else. And in my room, it's so cold and they're cleaning the rooms. So this is my best option. So for lunch today, my dad took out the grill. My mom took out the grill from their trailer that's hooked to the bus that held everybody but me and my family. And we're in Florida and we're having a great, great time. So here's what we do. We pack our own food. And then as we get to our next destination, which will be an Airbnb, which make sure you're watching my stories because I'm about to show you the most incredible Airbnb that our family rented. It's unreal. And I'm going to just keep it at that until I show you pictures in my stories. Uh, We'll be there tomorrow night. It's incredible. So here's what we are going to do for the rest of our week that we are here. We're going to go to the grocery store and we're going to make our own food. I actually don't know if we'll go out to eat one time. First of all, it's hard to go out to eat with 24 people all consistently and and, and not hard. Like everybody can sit with their families, but our kids would rather be playing. They'd rather be either in a pool or in the ocean. If we were to go out to eat, I tell people going out to eat and staying low carb is super simple. You can order whatever you want. Stick to protein in a salad. Put the Take the croutons off your salad. Put the dressing on the side. Uh, I just had a burger and a brat with no bun. Super simple. And it completely satisfied me. I don't need anything else. I think oftentimes we think we need to have two sides or we need to have an appetizer or... No, you don't. Like, we just overeat. Remember, most people overeat and you can even overeat good food. 
And so we are grilling. We'll actually be grilling all week. And then if you're eating out, stick to proteins, veggies, and salads. So sub your potato or your fries for a veggie. Uh, dressing on the side. We only order water if we go out to eat. Actually, my kids, I don't know if my kids have ever ordered anything besides water. I know some of you are like, let your kids live a little bit. We, we're water drinkers. We don't buy pop. We don't drink pop. Um, I drink ketones, which I just shook up if you've never tried ever. This is what keeps my cravings under control so I don't have to eat all of those sides. And I'm, I'm super satisfied with my burger and my brat. So here's what I want to know. A couple things. When you are traveling, vacation, work, travel, what is your go-to meal? Do you go, if you go out to eat, where do you go and what do you order? So I'll say things like, oh, we love Chipotle. You can get a taco salad, right? Or I get any type of burger with no bun or I'll get a salad with chicken or a protein. I love salad and salmon. And then I'll get the dressing on the side. So we keep it so simple. Uh, and I can't read your comments because it's a little dark in that I, I'm sitting in a stairwell because it's the, it's the quietest place I could find, uh, sweating actually. And it's so nice here. This is what I'm shaking up. If you've never tried my mom fuel post trial in the comments, I actually have this brand new flavor for trials. I actually have lots of different flavors. So, uh, if you've never tried it, here's the deal. You don't have to be strict keto puts you in ketosis in under an hour, helps you with your energy, your focus, your appetite control. It's unbelievable. Post trial, we can chat. Otherwise, if we go out to eat, we keep it super simple, but we're mainly going to be making all of our meals in our Airbnb or at our hotel on the grill that my parents brought from Minnesota to Florida. So if you go out to eat, what do you normally order? If you make, well, what did you have for lunch? What did you have today for lunch? Egg salad, tuna fish salad. Did you make your own? Did you go out to eat? Uh, because it gives other people ideas. So some of my favorite things, we have lettuce wraps. We've got low carb wraps. We have a whole bunch of meat and cheese. My mom was cutting up some salami and cheese for everybody. And uh, that's it. Hi, this is my dad, you guys. Say hi to my keto mom, page. This is the man that fed 24 people that, that brought a grill all the way from Minnesota. My parents, mini grill. Mini grill. My parents are incredible. Incredible people. I'm, I'm truly, truly blessed. And our kids love them so much. And so we decided to take a family vacation, all of us together, all 24 to end the summer. And before we get crazy, oops, sorry, before we get crazy with sports and school. So uh, if you have any keto questions, low carb questions, the things I like to say are drink your water. We are making sure all of the kids are hydrated, right? Uh, if you are strict keto or low carb, electrolytes are important. If you get leg cramps or you get a headache, you need some electrolytes. Your body's flushing that out when you're in ketosis. If you've never tried ketones, they're, I call it mom fuel. It's anybody fuel, but this is a tool. It puts you in ketosis. So you have your energy under control. I mean, your inner, I don't take a nap ever. I haven't in seven years. So the energy, the focus, the appetite control is incredible. And And it tastes incredible. It's a tool, not a magic pill, right? Uh, some people drink pots of coffee or I joke with my sister, Brittany, who's here. And she's like, I need my Starbucks coffee full of sugar every day. And she, I say that because she knows I say that. And she loves her sugary coffee. So the point of getting on track and working on your health is to make it a lifestyle. It's to help you choose better. It's to be mindful. It's things like not overeating, not eating when you're not hungry. Don't eat when you're bored. You can overeat good food, drink water, cut out some of the sugary junk, right? You don't need to have a meal and two sides and bread and a dessert. Like you can be completely satisfied. Use smaller plates or dish up a smaller amount and just ask yourself, like, do I want to be stuffed? It's really just thinking before you eat right? If you physically can't stop yourself from eating, then you're going to have to get a food tracker, my fitness pal or carb counter to help you visually make better choices to realize visually what you're eating. You don't have to do it for long term, but if you can't make those choices for yourself, then start tracking everything you eat. And then you'll be like, I didn't, I can't believe I ate that much. It's all awareness. It's all like giving yourself a little bit of time before you just eat being mindful and making better decisions. So 
that's what I have for you today. If you want to try these, they're incredible. They're incredible. And of course, my sisters are like, I need some ketones. Yes, you do. I brought some for everybody. So post trial in the comments and we can chat. I would love to see what you had for lunch. It gives other people ideas, so share that below. Otherwise, reach out, follow my stories. I'm going to be sharing more about my family, but also uh, as we make better decisions and as we're cooking and sharing different meals, I'll share that with you. You can always go to ketomomsecrets.com. It's all one word. That's our blog, ketomomsecrets.com. You can click on recipes. For recipes, you can click on book club to go work on your mindset. You can click on how to get started to just get started. Uh, there's a lot of fun things coming up at the end of this month. We have something new. It's called a Keto Pro. Some of you ask if I drink a protein. I drink something called Keto Pro. It's our Keto Protein. There's a new flavor coming very soon. It's called Lemon Shortcake. Uh, I think it's in the room. I have to go check. It's unbelievable. I drink our protein shake. That is a keto-based protein shake. I drink it after I work out or for like a light snack. So that's coming soon. Uh, we've got the end of the month coming and we've got, what's around the Corber? School. Whose kids have started school? We homeschool, so we'll be starting after our vacation. Uh, but school is starting, sports are starting, and I'm going to guess that if you had a summer like a lot of people, maybe you let yourself go or maybe you had an incredible time where you enjoyed yourself. I have people, so many people messaging me going, are you eating keto? Are you eating low carb? Do you stay on track when you're, when you're vacationing? And I say, I, I'm not strict keto. I'm more low carb. I make better choices. I drink ketones. I only drink water. We got up early and watched the sunrise. Like we were moving our body. I'm aware of the food that I'm eating. Like, yes, I'm very much aware of the food that I eat. I'm not going to say that I won't have a treat. I don't love sugary things, but I'm not saying that I won't have something eventually. And then if I do, I'll drink my ketones, get back on track and feel great. So it's not about perfection. It's about a process of your journey of you staying in your own lane. The only way you fail is if you quit. So I'm here to help. I hope you guys have an incredible day. Message me with questions or ask your questions below and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.